So we're starting off a uh, new project here, uh, which may consist of uh, literally days worth of trying to bore out a block by hand. And we've got the old, uh, you know, uh, freebie special half inch gear reduction drill. This thing is going to be getting a workout. So, uh, you know, in order to try and maintain this thing's uh, health status, we're going to give it a quick uh, rehab. Now that's one of the uh, secrets to keeping this old junk running. You know, a lot of times you can't just pull it out of storage and throw it back in the regular use. You know, it's like when you get up in the morning, you got you can't move too fast right off the bat. Oh, I see where the brushes go, and uh, that explains why the electrical tape's on there. Oh yeah, that's pretty nasty. Oh man, that stinks too. Ooh. Man, that is some nasty old grease. Alright, maybe we're just going to leave that in there. Clean that up a little bit in there. Got the next best thing. Now we're never going to get all this grease out of here, but just getting some of the big chunks. Now, I'm assuming they probably just used some old uh, lithium grease back in the day, so that's what we're going to put back in. Luckily, it looks like somebody's replaced the cord, you know, within the last decade or two. And uh, everything seems to work there, so we'll just let that go. Alright, time to plug it in, moment of truth. Okay, no sparks, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quieter than before. Maybe we'll get another 20 years out of it. Now, I've heard, heard a lot of times people say you can't bore out uh, a cylinder oversized with one of these type of hones. And I've done it quite a few times now and with actually pretty decent results. Um, this is a Lyle rigid cylinder hone. Um, it's a pretty decent hone. I mean, it's, uh, it's made in USA. I think it cost about 150 bucks, and uh, I've certainly got my money's worth out of it. And basically, it's got two cutting stones and two wipers. And uh, when you run it, if there's any uh, taper or any variance in the cylinder walls, um, this would catch the high spots first, and you'll actually feel the drill uh, kind of pulse as it's hitting those high spots. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
and after a while it knocks down the highs and it uh, takes its own path and makes it uh, you get a nice round uh, bore. I've been able to take cylinder bores that were had a taper and like an egg shape to them up to like ten thousandths or twelve thousandths out uh, out of round and by and going twenty over bring them to within one thousandths or less uh, total variance in the whole bore. So you can do it with this. It just takes a long time. Uh, this is a 4.4 inch bore uh, cylinder here and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes per thousandth of uh, material to remove it.